Hello and welcome fellow humans to Biffington's YouTube channel, a continuation of our Let's Play of the Direwolf 20 1.20 mod pack. And today we're doing some more Britannia and we're going to be doing enchanting with mana. I don't know if you've ever done enchanting with mana before. Just want to say that you should buckle up because once you've seen this, you probably will never go back to regular enchanting with an enchanting table, which is typically almost always random. And so it's, it's it, unless you've got a pretty high level apotheosis enchanting table, you really don't know what you're going to get. And so let's go through the process of enchanting with mana to get the max level enchantments on our armor. And if you look at this armor, I've been disenchanted all of it. And so it, it still has the apotheosis imbuement on there. And I do recommend you put the apotheosis imbuement, imbuement on the armor first before you enchant it. Because once you put all the enchantments on, you will no longer, the enchant, the, the imbuement will be off the page. Okay, but you'll still be able to see the gem areas down there. You can do that last. All right, so let's get this started. I do notice that when I walk fast or run fast, that I have a lot of frame drop. My poor wee little computer here, but uh, so I'm, I'm moving a little bit slower now and hopefully no frame drop is taking place. All right, let's get in here. <laughs> Some new things are on the floor. We've got five of these Flux mana pools now because the mana enchanter, <laughs> my Boston accent there, the mana enchanter uses mana, high, large quantities of mana to enchant items with, without using your experience. You do need to use your experience to get, um, to make, to make the, to get the, the high level books. Anyway, so we have five of these. This is now off. You see all these things are off. It's under redstone control. This uh, uh, mana pool is putting out, this is, I don't know if that's a conflict having it there. Anyway, it's putting out, oh yeah, that's right, it's over here. It's putting a redstone signal of 15. This is subtracting 14. And so it's giving a redstone signal of one, which is being fed into all of these, basically control systems that control the flowers. And so they're all off. Uh, for some reason, this experience obelisk from the cognition mod uh, when I put a new one down, the new one, I already went through one, decided that it was going to put out cognition. Cognitium. 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 Fluid instead of XP fluid. And the Rose Arcana does not consume that. So basically I had to use these bottlers to bottle it up into bottles of enchanting. And then the wonderful, it's just a wonderful thing, the cyclic tank will take fluid containers and empty it into the tank. And it treats the uh, bottle of enchanting as a fluid container and dumps it into the tank, which then the uh, tap here dumps into the flower. And we, so with three of those, we can get back to the, where we were before with the, the rate anyway. And I have something new here. It's called a luminizer from uh, Botania, and basically what it does is it it puts you on a cloud of air and sends you to the next luminizer that's linked to. So if you right click it, it puts you up to the next luminizer that's linked to. And this one is linked to this one over here, which is linked to that one, which goes over here. And these two luminizers are linked together. They don't use any mana. And um, that whole luminizer link here, you see that one is linked over there inside kind of cut a dormer into the um, a passageway into this roof here. And this this is this luminizer is linked over here. And these two are linked together. So they make a continuous loop back and forth. And you hit hit shift, left shift to dismount. So when you get over to this building, you just dismount. I tried using this living wood avatar and he's holding, you can see he's holding holding the um, bit frost, uh, rod of the bit frost, I think it's called. Um, yeah, he's holding that. And it, it might work this time, let's see. Uh, he, he It's supposed to make a path, a bit for us blocks over there, and he just, yes, he, he's doing it right now, but uh, it only goes about halfway and then drops you in the, in the ground. So it, it just doesn't work. I, something, I, something I'm missing, I did use this pulse extender to, um, <laughs> To make sure it's getting, it's, it's a redstone mana spreader, so it only gives gives mana when it's got a redstone signal. And so this will give a redstone signal for 14 seconds to make sure there's plenty of mana going in. And so it's it's not 
it's not working. Anyway, we're using this guy over here. And so we're back over here. And I want to finish making the mana enchanter. And we can read all about this. Enchanting with mana. And so um, what I want to do is activate this visualizer, put it in the ground here, and it places the kind of a visualizer. It shows where you, everything's going to go. And the first thing to do there is put down a block of obsidian and then lapis. And then I want to make floating flowers. I don't want them on blocks all the time. So you don't have to have this dirt here. Um, the way that works is you put a flower there, a pasture seed, which is you just put grass into a mana pool and you get a pasture seed. And you just get grass by clipping grass with shears, obviously. <laughs> and a piece of dirt here, and you can get, doesn't that work? Oh, you, oh yeah, that's right. I missed a step. You've got to make this stuff shimmering first. And shimmering flowers you can put down to make a path. I'm using lime and um, peel. So now we can take this stuff and make them floating. Now that they're shimmering. I don't know if they shimmer when they float. I guess they should. There we go. We've got the pylons. And I do have this thing called a mana mirror. And basically, you right click it onto a mana pool. And this is a recipe I used our last ingot of Terra Steel. <laughs> and uh, an empty mana tablet is like a mana bat battery and all this stuff that we can get pretty easily. And you just right click it on one of the Fluix mana pools down there. And it's linked. And as long as it's chunk loaded, it's linked everywhere. And so all the items that I have in my inventory that use mana, which aren't very many at the moment, uh, will be linked to the, the mana down here, which I meant to point out is essentially full. As far as this is concerned, it's full. I can't fill it up any fuller than that. So it's given it a redstone signal there of one. So it's basically full. That's why everything's off here. It's back up here. All right, we got our floating flowers, and we've got Cyan, that's the cyan over here. It's gonna alternate them or something, but yeah, that's whatever. Just put the lime over here. Then we want the mana pylons on top of that. Yeah, we'll place them nice. You can see the progress bar up there filling up. We need three more of these guys. And it's done, it's complete. Okay, we get rid of this dirt. Kinda wanted to get rid of this Paxel because it's so pixelated. And it looks at the other Paxels that are available in the game and they're not much better, so I, I, I just decided to stay with this Paxel. And I'll show you for a minute what these chests are for. Oh, I forgot, I think to do this, yeah. You have to right click that with the Wand of the Forest to complete the assembly. And now this, let's go get the books. <laughs> That's the next step, getting the books. Use, use um, Batania to cross this gap. So the way I got these books, you kind of saw this been watching the uh, playthrough, is that from all the mob grinding, uh, not only from the apotheosis spawners and the um, mob grinding utilities grinders, but also using the Ars Nouveau Drigmes and the, 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 the loot uh, goblin, we've got a ton of enchanted books. And this is just part of them. There's more downstairs. And those are all linked using the storage lectern. You can look at all the stuff that's in here, all the gems and enchanted books. And we have, what is that? 3,380 mendings. You can never use them. So we can feed those. Actually, we can feed those to Rosa. I can and we'll eat them. And then I'm using the disenchanter from Cyclic to just enchant these items. And so this, has been, this needs power. And it's been given, oh, it's been given XP fluid. Uh, and that's generally you need to run the mob grinder to get the XP fluids. That could be an issue during this. It would be an issue for the future, I guess. So having a problem with the mob grinder, it won't run unless I'm right next to it. Even though it's chunk loaded, it says it ignores players. I've right clicked it with a nether star. So I put in a, a, a ticket to get him on that. But. So anyway, this is the way this works. This refined obsidian boot here, pair of boots, is enchanted. Just throw that in there and it removes it. And I used to put the, the armor into the trash can, but since I disenchanted all my armor, I didn't want that to happen. So it goes into here. And this is working on a redstone signal now, so it won't empty that. 
unless this is on. <laughs> That's the way that works. And so now you can get your item back and you've got your chanted book off of there. But I already prepped all this, so I, what I did is I looked at the armor, for instance, a chest plate. You hit the U button for use. And the anvil shows you all the enchantments I want. And I put protection on everything, kind of by default. And you kind of be, you're going to be choosy about the enchantments you want. Like thorns, that will increase the damage. So if anything hits you, they get damaged based on your thorn level. And but also damages your equipment, your armor that has thorns on it. So I don't really use it. I don't think it's really needed. You're really going to kill them with your weapons anyway, not thorns. So I don't use that, but it's optional. You could use it. Um, unbreaking. So unbreaking reduces the amount, the higher level enchantment level of unbreaking. We have reduced the amount of XP the mending enchantment uses. And there's mending. Okay. Um, Berserker's Fury. Is, is when you get struck by an enemy, you get, um, I think you, you become weak, but you become very strong at the same time. And you have to kind of figure that out. I don't have an idea of how to tell you all of that. Basically, you want to look at Epic and Chance YouTube videos, and he explains how you can kind of build for that, but generally it's not recommended. Uh, but you could build for it, and you get some really high levels of, of damage. But first, you have to take some damage first. And just make sure it's not lethal. So Icy Thorns, it slows attackers, so that's something you could use as well. Um, life Mending, you don't, want to, I don't, you don't really want to use that. You have other Mending, you use your XP for that. Rebounding, I don't, want to, I don't recommend that one because it removes, te removes attackers from your area. And you really, when you have an attacker, you usually want to kill it. Um, like you're fighting a boss, you don't want to, you don't want to teleport it away. Uh, Nature's Mend, I don't have that set up. Oh, wait, Space Fireproof is an enchantment that... Um, actually, if you look at that, you need to make space items. This is a craftable enchanted book. So these are not available right away. So you can, you can wear your regular armor in space, but you have to get those enchanted books to get back in there. So you can't just go right to space. Enchantable books there. There is Fury. Um, yeah, Space Fireproof, and there's another space one as well. Acid Rainproof, that's a space one. Manor Regen. And so um, these are definitely enchantments you want for um, Ars Nouveau. Reactive, I don't recommend using that, using this method. You're going you're gonna to put that on your armor using Ars Nouveau. And I definitely recommend having your chest, your chest plate. You just need one level of that. And Fire Reactive, I don't, I don't like setting things on fire because the ground becomes set on fire and then the drops will be get burnt up when they they drops. I don't like setting things on fire. That's up to you. Chill Aura will gain the Faucet effect. And I don't recommend that because if that's a negative status effect, you won't be doing any, any kind of high level of damage until that's gone. So that has a tick going on in your, on the enemy. If it's just slowing it, it's fine. So I don't, I'm not sure if that's okay or not. I wouldn't. I, would, I, would, I suggest testing it before you use it. Multi-jump, I don't like that. Steady Body is pretty good if it works. Some of these cyclic enchantments don't work. Like the like the um, step height, I, I couldn't get that to work. Uh, gloom. Now that's a random negative status effect. I do not recommend using that. If it puts that status effect on there, you won't be able to do any damage, or do I guess very low damage until that's done. Uh, repellent. I don't recommend that. Shimmer's harm, harmless, and soulbound. Maybe it works. I'm not sure. I don't. I don't think I need it because the chance of dying is pretty low now. Once you get pretty high high level chance. The chance of dying because it's really low, especially at protection, when you get your protection level up really high. And so the next question, now we know what enchantments you want, and I have them kind of listed out here for, this is for the helmet, I think, Aqua Affinity and Respiration. The question next is, since we have Apotheosis here, what is the highest level enchantment you can put on there? And if you look at, say, protection, it only shows four for each, each different type of protection. So that's not quite enough. And now I will have to, sh I'll have the editor, I'll ask the editor to slip in a separate video here that shows how to check, uh, how to actually check the max level enchantments. But I'm going to, okay, jumping in here under the short video to show you how to find the maximal level, maximum level enchantments for your mod pack when you're using a, when the Apotheosis uh, mod is in there, which modifies all those things. I get 
is extremely high. And you can also use this method to edit them and raise them if you wanted. All right, so you start here is, is a good place to uh, start with the uh, Feed the Beast launcher. And what you want to do here is go into settings and then open the folder, which I have open right here. And this is the mod pack folder. It always opens behind the launcher, just to keep that in mind. And um, you've got all kinds of folders here that Minecraft uses for putting his game together and running it. You want to open up the config folder and then look at Apotheosis here. It's got several different... It's a folder of config files. So just double click that. And you got all the different things about Apotheosis you can change. And I did edit the adventure one to make sure that the bosses spawn more frequently and that they spawn in all dimensions. That was changed in this mod pack, so they don't do that. And the one we're interested in for this video is the enchantments config file. And here is where you'll find out where it says the maximum level enchantments are. Here is Minecraft mod, Minecraft enchantment basically, protection, max levels eight. And it also says things about drop levels and things like that. I don't understand all of that stuff in there, so I'm not going to talk about it. But you can, you can scroll down here or you can search control F on your keyboard. Like look at Depth Strider, I have that right here. So it's, if it's a two word enchantment, it's going to have an underscore between the words. And so, uh, or multiple words, each word will have an underscore between it. Max level there is seven. Um, what's another one to look at? Maybe sharpness. Max level enchantment there is nine. So that's how you find the max level enchantments. And then you can go and combine your books together to get to that level. Um, so that's how it works. Back to the video. Uh, it's, it's totally up to you if you want to do that, of course. So I've already done that. I've already looked at all the enchantments I want to put on the armor. And so unbreaking is the first one I'm going to do. I get that up to maximum because anvils, let me use an anvil to get max level en enchantments. You see it already has enchant unbreaking three on it. It's going to break. <laughs> it's going to break. So we want to we want to start there. What do I have here? Depth Strider. So let's... It goes down here. I don't... I, I, I ran out of room in the chest. So let's get unbreaking out and um, let's go ahead and go through this process. So um, it, we have an unbreaking five. So if you look at this, we're going to combine the fives together to make sixes. And so those sixes will combine to make sevens and the sevens will combine together to get eight. So the maximum unbreaking enchantment you get in this version, this configuration of apotheosis, the Dire of 21.20 mod pack is unbreaking eight. So let's go ahead and start combining those to see what I mean. And I don't have any mana. So the first thing you want to do is get some mana here. Um, receive 10 mana. I want to receive it, not give it. So we give it about, this is a, almost, it doesn't even matter. And I'm, I'm not conservating mana anyway. We have five full ones over here. And these things are, both of them are pretty close to being full. So we have tons of mana. Um, so let's get back to that. There's unbreaking, unbreaking. So we get the six. So it, it broke. Great. <laughs> let's let's get another anvil out here. Oh good, we got two of them. Uh, so we're gonna have one that we use and one that we enchant. All right. So we have s the sixes here, right? We didn't even get that one. We got a six here. Yeah. Okay. We get these all up to six. All right, so those are all sixes. Now let's make them uh, into two sevens. And so this avoids completely the randomness of the of, and frustration of the enchanting table. And it's kind of the end game stuff to get apotheosis until it's like a good enchanting table. Even then, I don't really like it. I want to get the enchantments. I want to get out of out of out of actually knowing what I want, what's possible. All right, so we have, uh, we have unbreaking eight now. And so we could go in here and put the anvil in here and enchant enchant that, and we'd lose our book. And if we make the thing all over again, and we don't want to do that. So we want to go back here, whoosh over here, and um, basically get, get that helmet back off. Shift click that helmet off of there, and put the anvil on. Good, good. And so we just want to throw the unbreaking eight down here on the ground. I guess, I guess right here. Make sure you have 
your um, magnet off and oh we need we need something I need a spark on here all right give me a spark all right get on there all right that's it so I had to put the spark on first you can see that and and now it's I don't I have the sparks on all the mana pools down here all five of them and so hopefully they're, they're in range I'll be saying I don't really know I, I assume it's in range so I'll throw this book down my magnet's off, and then right-click that. I don't know if you can hear that. It counted. You can see the mana being accumulated in there, in the in the mana chanter. It's all coming up from the bottom. I've got some nice graphic that takes place. And the sound at the end tells you it's done. So as soon as you hear that beep, um, the little beep noise means it's done, and you can pick up the enchanted book. Now we have the enchanted book back. We did not lose it. We just used a lot of mana, and which we have tons of, and that's unbreaking eight on the anvil. So we need to do a lot more enchanting here. And that was not even enough to trigger this to start running. Interesting. All right, let's take the, the whoosh path over here. You get a little damage sometimes, so be prepared for that. <laughs> All right, so we don't want that, that anvil here. Get that up. We want the enchanted anvil down. You can't see if it's enchanted when it's down, unfortunately. All right, next we have our unbreaking eight. I'm going to use that on all of our all of our all of our um, armor. Um, we're going to go right for shoes next because I want to get this depth strider off my out of my inventory because it's going to take a ton to do this. But I only have depth strider two, and the maximum is I think is seven. And so I, I'm just using the diamond boots here as a placeholder to show where the, the armor specific enchantments are. Um, so basically, depth strider and stable footing go on boots. Not ready for that quite yet. And then for for leggings, I'm going to put for legs. I'm going to put traveler and last stand on there. That's a lot of last stands to get in there. And then for the chest plate, and pretty much chest plate has nothing special about it. But basically, these, these enchantments up here are generally for either the helmet or for all the armor. And so, after these things are max level books, I'll put them into the chest over there by the man enchanter. And so, I'm going to have a cut here now, and unless something interesting happens, or just disastrous, um, I'll bring it back in. But otherwise, I'll bring it back in when all of these books have been combined together by the process you just saw, which is kind of lengthy and tedious, but... Okay, bringing you back in here, I've combined all of those books for the armor. One of the other, you know, of course you want to do this for your, your, your bow and your, uh, your um, melee weapon. Uh, be cautious with your pickaxe because you don't want efficiency going up too high. Like, I think you can have efficiency 7 or 8 here. It's going to be nearly unusable. If it's just going to use it to going, you know, going ham or crazy in the mines, that's fine. You know, you make a high-level hammer from uh, sound like gear and do it that way instead of a quarry. But for, for general use, you're not gonna need some efficiency very high at all. All right, so um, all of the armor here, the, the enchantments have been been maximized for, for the armor pieces in specific. And there's nothing specific, I think, for the chest plate. So all these ones are general, like unbreaking, mana regen seven, uh, mending, protection eight, that's the highest protection. And, and the helmet gets aqua affinity, steady body, and that, that doesn't, that's not really specific about what armor that goes on. I think it could be any armor. So I know I've done this in the past, and if the mana enchanter can't, if the mana enchanter can't figure out how, what armor it goes on, like it may not put it on the helmet. Just keep trying it for the other pieces, and eventually you'll find out which one it goes on. And respiration seven. So you will not, you will not need the water breathing charm anymore. But I guess you can still have it on there for that. So we have the. We have that in our one of our ring slots. It's the um, familiar from occultism that gives you water breathing. So I don't know if you'll need that anymore. And so the chest plate, well, yeah, I talked about all those already. Then for the legs, you've got last stand. It goes up to six. And traveler. It might be higher, but that's enough. Basically, that'll use your experience instead of you taking lethal damage. And, I'm, you know, cyclic is a work in progress, so some of these may not work. Uh, stable footing for the boots so you can break blocks like you're you're standing on the ground so that, that works 
Um, that's an Apotheos enchantment that should be really good. And then Death Strider 7. So we should, should we move through water water like it's like it's brown. Alright, so let's bring all this stuff in here. That chest is now empty. And so we can refill that again to do it on the um, bow and other pieces of equipment. All right, so let's get this started. Let's get let's put this in the chest over here. So helmet's got all those three guys. Um, I guess yeah, I'll start with the legs that I put in here. The legs is going to have these five and these two. So let's go ahead and get the legs on there. The legs, the shoes, the shoes, the boots, not the legs. All right, so again, making sure your magnets off. I'll put the ones specific over there so they don't get mixed up. Hopefully. And these guys can go here. There we go. And then hopefully they can not pick those back up. And you hear the beep that's going to count them for each enchanted book. And there's eight of them, or seven of them, or something. I didn't count. So sometimes you'll know if it missed one or not. But if you go look at the enchantment afterwards, you'll know then. And I don't think there's any problem with these enchantments. Oh. I should try the helmet next because I want to know if that, that one enchantment is going to go in there or not. Because right now it's accumulating all of the mana. It's about halfway done. I, I forgot it showed that. That's decently fast. Typically I use at least eight mana pools. So it goes even faster. I did look into the Spark Tinkerer and that's the, the, that's only if you want to kind of kind of uh, automate the changing of the the augment to put into the um, into the spark. Like if it's dispersive or recessive or dominant, you can do it by redstone signal. All right, so that worked. Let's pick up these guys first. And what did we get? So we've got stable footing, depth strider, unbreaking, mana regen, mana boost, mending, and protection. That's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So that's everything got on there. That's very good. Now, yeah, I should have started with this one. The questionable one is steady body. I don't know where that's going to work. So let's get those shoe ones back in there. And let's try this one next. Go ahead and put that on. Uh, I can take the helmet off. Yeah, let's get these down here. Okay. The helmet in there. Put those books out. Leaving these other books there still, as long as they don't despawn, we're in good shape. And give that a try. I didn't count that again. Yeah, just don't make any moves until it's finished doing its thing. Uh, counting. It's counting. It's so using quite a bit of mana. See, all these things are back on. Wow. So the mana flying out of here. I, I did set this up so we can wish by here. Oh, I picked those up. It's, it's fine. That's what he counted. Put them back down. Can you, these are the ones we use on every piece of armor. I do want to go in here. And have this thing remember that this is armor. It's gonna have one here for swords and one for bows and the next thing, whatever that is. So it's done. Let's pick up those guys. Grab that. So what we should have eight. Did we get eight? Yeah, it doesn't look like it. We got unbreaking, mana regen, mana boost, mending, protection, aqua infinity, and steady bodies. That's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We did. Okay. That did work. We got steady body on there. Wow, that's a lot of enchantments. See what I mean about the imbuement? You can't really see it anymore. All right, so those three go back in there. And the chest plate is easy. We just use the ones that are on the ground. Put that in there. We should have five on there. Yes, I'm breaking mana regen, mending, mana boost, and protection. Now, one thing about the mana enchanter is that it will not put more enchants on something that's already enchanted. So if I want to put more enchantments on this chest plate, I gotta take them all off, put them all back on again. So that's kind of kind of the downside of the whole process there. 
Alright, let me see. Let me do the boots next. Not those boots. Or I can do the pants next. Yeah. Pants. There. This. Three, four, five, six, seven. All right, so we got them all. And it's done. Do not remove the item until you hear that final sound. All right. Those are, those are leggings. It doesn't look like it. So we got one, two, three, four, five, six. We have Traveler on there as well. I, I've tried that in the past. I don't know if it really does work. We, we, we don't really take much damage right now anyway, but we I mean, try it on a cactus, I guess. Let's see if we get damage that way. <laughs> I don't know. All right. Boots are last. Back to me. Oh, oh, I already did the boots. Oh, so we're done. Get these other enchantments. Enchanted books over here. That makes it look like there's something missing. I don't know. So there you go. You have fully enchanted armor with max level enchantments. And uh, the books are here available to be used in any other armor you want to make. Which is going to be a lot of armor sets. Like here's one from, from Botania I want to make next. It's a Terra Steel set. I'm going to put all of these enchantments on there as well. It's a cool looking set of armor. And we'll be making off camera all of these cool things and gadgets from and rods and things from, from uh, Botania. Here's the life imbuer and uh, things. I'll show those off in the next episode. So that's enchanting with mana using Botania. It's really powerful. And um, I hope you uh, enjoyed the video. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.